I am in Chicago, Illinois at the 2022 Chris Kindle Market on Daily Plaza. Every holiday season, a German-style Christmas market is set up on the plaza, just like those in old cities across Germany and other areas of Europe. These Chris Kindle Markets are based on historic outdoor Christmas markets in Germany, a tradition that began in the 16th century. The Chicago Chris Kindle Market is one of the oldest, largest and most popular Chris Kindle markets in the United States. So let's explore the festivities. Towering above the center of the Chris Kindle Market is a seemingly out of place Picasso sculpture. This is a massive sculpture that was designed by Pablo Picasso in his classic Cuba style. It was erected here in 1967 and is 50 feet tall. This sculpture technically has no name, it's just called the Picasso. Apparently some people think it's a horse, but I've heard a story that Picasso based this sculpture off of his Afghan hound. Regardless of what it's supposed to be, that is a pretty cool sculpture by Pablo Picasso. Another lesser known feature of the Richard J. Daly Plaza is the Eternal Flame. This Eternal Flame was lit in 1972 as a memorial to military service members. However, it is primarily used to warm up by pigeons. There's a whole flock of them gathered around on this cold day in the Windy City, and so there are always pigeon droppings all over the memorial. The Chris Kendall Market features a variety of vendors that sell food, mostly German foods including brats, schnitzel, pretzels, and of course beer. There are also many vendors selling their crafts. Many of these businesses do come from Germany, so it is fun to look at the stalls and see all the knickknacks for sale. I got an overpriced pretzel, which kind of sucked as far as pretzels go. There are some cuckoo clocks from the Black Forest. Here's the Krampus Shack. The legend of Krampus the Anti-Santa did come from Germany, so this stall is selling some creepy masks. <laughs> oh, 
And here's Krampus nailed to the wall. So the Chicago Chris Kendall Market is a wonderful Christmas attraction. It's especially good for people who like to shop and eat, but it's always a good time to explore the market, and surprisingly it wasn't completely packed. That is the Temple Building, a 1924 church skyscraper that is home to the First United Methodist Church. It is 568 feet tall, Directly across the street from Daly Plaza and the Picasso sculpture is a Miro sculpture. This 39 foot tall sculpture by Yao Miro is called Chicago. This was the largest work ever created by Miro, so this is really cool to see. Just a block away from the Chris Kindle Market is a much older Chicago holiday staple. Marshall Fields. The National Historic Landmark Marshall Field and Company building is decked out in Christmas decorations for the season, as has been tradition for over a century. And of course, there's the iconic Marshall Fields clock. Marshall Fields is one of the most important department stores in history. Though the Marshall Field Company is now extinct, it was bought by Macy's about 20 years ago, so this is now a Macy's. The original section of the department store was begun in 1901. The other big addition was built between 1905 and 1906. It was designed by the legendary architect Daniel Burnham. There are some Christmas window displays, but they are not nearly as grand as they were back in the day. The historic department store is totally decked out in Christmas decorations. The highlight of Marshall Fields is the incredible Tiffany ceiling. It is a mosaic vaulted ceiling dome, towering five stories above the floor, designed by Lewis Comfort Tiffany. That is truly amazing. It is one of the largest glass mosaics in the world, containing over 1.6 million pieces of iridescent glass. This is the 12 story atrium. That's dizzying. Franco mints used to be produced here at Marshall Fields. They were originally called Franco mints, but they changed the name because of the fascist dictator Franco in Spain. And the God of a Chocolatier still operates here in Macy's. Up on the 7th floor is the Walnut Room, a historic restaurant in the department store that opened in 1907. In December of 1907, the tradition of the Great Tree in the middle of the Walnut Room began. So there is the 2022 Great Tree, continuing a tradition of 115 years.
Marshall Fields occupies an entire city block. At the time, it was the largest department store in the world, and it's still either the second or third largest. I found a little exhibit about Marshall Field and the store. Marshall Field started his store business in the late 19th century, and by the time this colossal department store was built, the Marshall Field Company was the world's largest wholesale and retail dry goods company. Marshall Field instilled a famous slogan for his stores, borrowed from Potter Palmer of the nearby Palmer House Hotel, to give the lady what she wants. This is a World War II memorial plaque that used to adorn a column downstairs. This is a recreation of the Norman Rockwell Saturday Evening Post cover of a man setting the Marshall Fields clock. This is a boardroom panel that was created in 1603 for the Great House at Whitehall during the reign of James I. It was bought by Marshall Fields for the store in the 1920s. I hope you enjoyed exploring these Chicago holiday traditions at the Chris Kindle Market and Marshall Fields. If you did, then please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Also take a look at my other videos featuring Christmas attractions, historic sites, museums, roadside attractions, and more here in the Chicagoland area, as well as across the country and elsewhere. Thanks for watching.